Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another Friday video, Foot Birthday Set 2 is here. This is the loading screen that we got today with some more teasers on what players could be upgraded. And you know, the community I think is in a, almost total agreement on what they think the cards are gonna be today coming out. We've got a little concept that we're gonna look at over here on Twitter. There's a lot of people today that agree with this concept, and then there's one other player that I want to talk about. But um, the loading screen from last week didn't tell the whole story about the team. So a lot of people think it's going to be Douglas Costa, Bale, and Lacazette. And they're mostly sure about Lacazette and, and Douglas Costa on the outsides. Um, of course, Lacazette would be a four-star, five-star, and uh, Douglas Costa would be a five-star, five-star with five-star skills and the five-star weak foot. Gareth Bale could be sweet with the uh, four-star, five-star, uh, with the five-star weak foot, which would help his card out a ton. But also a part of today's loading screen, there was a plate and a fork and a knife, I think. And a lot of people think that this player in the middle here, instead of Bale, is going to be Serge Nabry because of, you know, his celebration, right? That would kind of make sense with like the plate and the fork and, you know, like eating, you know, you know? So a lot of people think that Serge Nabry might be in this team as well, but... What I want to like remind you guys of is if we remember our loading screen from last week from Foot Birthday Set 1, who was on that loading screen? It wasn't the most hyped up guys that ended up being in the promo. Rashford, Havertz, and uh, Sissoko were the ones who actually made it on the loading screen. And those were high level cards, yes, but we also had Mbappe, Hazard, Griezmann, all a part of this promo that were technically higher level than all of those cards. So I'm intrigued to see that even if we don't have, uh, like this selection here doesn't look like it's the most amazing off the bat. You're like, Lacazette, okay, cool. Douglas Costa, okay, cool. Bale, that's good. But is there going to be anything higher than that? I think that there would be. Some people have tossed around the idea of like Pogba getting in. Some people have tossed around the idea of VVD getting in. We'll see what happens. Also remember last week that this first set of foot birthday cards uh, was actually leaked. It was leaked on tw uh, on Twitter. It was leaked on the Xbox, I think. Uh, like on the Xbox store, I think they leaked the pictures of the squad before the team was actually supposed to go live. So uh, there were leaked pictures of the new foot birthday squad. Could you see that again today? It's possible. I don't know how great the possibility is, but there's always that chance of the leaks coming out before the promo does so that's something to keep in mind now what's going to happen with these set one for birthday cards that are still in packs for the next few hours i want to talk about these uh, technically the best buy time for these cards and a lot of you guys know this the absolute best buy time for these was last week during the lighting rounds um, when these cards first came into packs because of all the saved up packs that were put into or that were opened at that time that was the absolute lowest time these cards, again, dropped a little bit lower on Thursday with rewards, um, but from here on out, they're probably only going up unless we get some sort of massive, massive SBC that would make them crash. These cards have a lot of hype right now uh, because there's a lot of people on the game that's kind of holding their prices up. There's coins on the game right now, and there's a lot of people that are on the game and playing, and there's a lot of people that want to play weekend league this weekend, and also probably a lot of people that want to use these new cards. So... Um, I'm still skeptical with some of these foot birthdays though, because, um, they have a lot of supply. These cards have a lot of supply on this game. Eden Hazard, I think is one, like almost 1.4 mil, like one, three, five, maybe. Uh, but these cards have a lot of supply. They really, really do for the, the rating that they are. They have a lot of supply in this game. And I do think as we head out of this promo, and as long as, you know, when FIFA starts to die down again, because right now we're kind of in an upswing, I do think you'll see these cards drop a decent amount. But for the next week or two, um, I think the best price for these guys, if you want to pick up a foot birthday player from set one, like let's say you think Nabry's going to get in and you want to buy yourself a, Haver a Havertz, that would be like a purely speculative investment. Um, but you could do worse, right? This Havertz card probably will go to like four, you know, 440, 450 at some point. Uh, right now he's 420, I think. So, um, watch these cards tomorrow morning. If there is a panic sell, you're going to hear me talk about this a lot in this video today. If there is a panic sell, we're going to be watching very, very closely for the panic selling that could happen into the promo today, because there were tons. And I mean, tons of coins to be made last week with the promo. 
And I think, again, this week, there's the opportunity for a lot of coins to be made with the new promo cards when they come out. And, you know, the panic selling of special cards in the morning and the rebound. Again, last week, if I can go and actually show you this graph of Mason Greenwood's FFS card, right? Mason Greenwood FFS. I'm going to show you this card right here. He's 800,000 coins right now. Last week, this guy was under 700K on Friday morning. It's not going to show here on the graph. It shows Friday his price was 736. He was actually 690,000 coins because when Rashford got in, people saw that it was leaked. Um, you know, when, when a team gets leaked, you oftentimes see a lot of more centralized panic selling because people know, okay, Rashford's coming out. So I'm going to go sell my Greenwood because I think it might drop the price of Greenwood. Uh, but, you know, Rashford came out and he was 1.5 million coins, which is way above the 700K that Greenwood was. So people that, you know, sold their Greenwood because they wanted to go buy Rashford couldn't actually afford him. So they went and they bought their Greenwood back. And now here he is 100K higher than where he was. The same thing happened with Usman Dembele's road to the final card. I don't know if people thought he was getting in or if they thought Bale was getting a card. If Bale gets a card, that could hurt his price. But Bale's card would possibly be very, very expensive um, based on the cards that he's had this year. This guy was down at 600,000 coins flat and rebounded to 670. If Bale does get a card, it would probably be around a 90 rated. And it would probably be somewhere around a million coins or above. It would definitely be above a million coins with a five-star weak foot because that's a game changer for Bale. Um, I would be interested to see the price of this Usman Dembele. Um, but I still think if there's panic selling on a card like this, I think Bale is going to be so expensive that you would be able to go out and buy this card because it should rebound. So watch the panic selling on cards um, leading up to the panic. And what kind of cards do you want to look at specifically? You want to take a look at cards that were in promo teams uh, that were very popular or in forms, right? Out of pack stuff, shapeshifters. If you see shapeshifters panic sold tomorrow, that is a huge opportunity to buy these. these cards are some of the most rarest special cards in the game and look how much they have gone up out of packs like for some reason if, if mendy starts dropping tomorrow if like we get a pogba and people are panic selling this mendy for some reason he's 750 right this dude was 583k during the second week of shapeshifters look at that sell-off so he goes from like 600k to 750 if you see this guy like under 700k again massive massive you know potential for profit on a card like this like you're looking for the panic selling on these out of packs specials that are usable and that are meta a tall is another fantastic example right Six hundred thousand coins to this card he was at 432 when he was in packs during team one crazy 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 so watch for the panic selling on some of these cards it doesn't have to be just shapeshifters Look at the winner refreshes. Look at the future stars. Any card that is meta that is usable, there's tons of past promo teams. Learn some prices and just watch some graphs and you'll be able to figure some things out, right? Last week, I was watching Valverde very closely. I was watching Greenwood very closely and I was watching Usman Dembele because I knew they had that rebound potential, especially uh, knowing that Hazard was getting in and um, who else got in this team that I was looking to link him to? Griezmann. Griezmann and, and um, Hazard both got in. I was like, okay, there's some La Liga cards. People are going to want to try from the set that has been leaked. But that's why I was looking at those cards. Um, you know, maybe somebody want to do like a Griezmann, a Hazard, and then link them somehow to a midfielder. That's why I was looking at Valverde and Usman Dembele. So just watch the panic sell. Even if the team doesn't get leaked, there's going to be panic selling on some cards. There's going to be panic selling on icons. That's another great place to look for cards uh, especially for baby and middle cards, right? Last week, I was watching this Makalele. Middle Makalele is one of the most used icons that's a midfielder in this game. 470K. Last night for Weekend League Rewards, before Rewards, this guy was 420K, right? Last week, look at what happened last week. The market last week, when everybody was coming onto the game, they opened packs for the promo and uh, they had saved packs they were opening up, generating a ton of coins on the market. This guy was three, 400K before Weekend League Rewards, 394. After Weekend League Rewards, he's up just over 400K. Friday morning, he was back under 400K in the, the panic cell. So he's down like 20, 30,000 coins. Uh, and then look where he went to on Saturday after all the coin injection on the market pushed the market up, 436. So that was a massive 
coin making opportunity there. And you can just tell that there's a lot of people on this game right now. Here's another great example. Middle Essien. Uh, let me search with Essien to find him. Yo, can I find Essien, please? Uh, 87. Ah, uh, click the wrong card. I want 87 Essien. That's what I want. Show me 87 Essien. That's Del Piero, bro. I literally just need to type in his full name so I can see the card. Unbelievable. Scuffed YouTuber. 525K. Look where this guy was last week. 457 on Monday. And look what happened. The coin injection this week, and this man is absolutely lying. Lying, flying, flying in price. Watch for a panic sell on the card like this. Out of packs, usable, even like Rivaldo. You look at some of the weekend league uh, flips that I had. As a Brazilian icon, he's got a two star weak foot. 534. You're kidding me. What? Dude, these icons have absolutely flown. I sold Rivaldo for like four. I sold this dude for 467 last night, and that's what he usually goes to. Wow, I, I totally undersold him. That is crazy. So, again, watch on some of these baby and middle icons. Since there's a lot more people on the game right now, these cards don't get any more supply. Watch the panic selling in the morning, and then look for the rebound after on the special cards, on informs, on icons that are out of packs. Wow. 530k. There's no way that's selling, bro. Yo, I have to I'm going to actually go add this to my transfer list because that's nuts, right? This market has a lot of coins. So that's why I feel like there's a really solid chance of a rebound on this market coming, right? The market went up a lot in the past couple days, uh and I think with more coins coming onto the market, unless they drop a massive massive SBC today on Friday, uh for set 2, I would say that there's a huge huge chance for the market to rebound. Um, and a lot of stuff to continue rising in price because again, there's a lot of incentive for people to play weekend league this weekend. That's the reason why these cards are going up because we have weekend league objectives once again, winning 10, winning 18, winning 24, and you get these player picks immediately, uh, 87 plus rated. And then one of five for champions players from all team of the weeks, uh, one through 29, so again, there's I'm playing weekend league this weekend. I mean, they're sucking me in with this crap again. We'll see how it goes. Um, but that's just something to watch out for. What else should we see today? Uh, speaking of objectives, we have had Bellarabi and we have had Paqueta. Both of these guys expire at 6 p.m. on Friday today. Looks like we're going to go again. I would expect one, maybe two, maybe two objective players again in the, the foot birthday variety. Don't know who they would be, but I would expect a couple more objective players. And then SBC-wise, last week we got Ozil on day one. I would expect another solid SBC on day one. Uh, whether it's a flashback, we've only gotten a couple of these. Whether it's a flashback or a flip birthday player, we don't know. But I would expect one of those SBCs to come out today as well on the Friday. Um, these upgrade packs are still here. So if you're somebody who wants to hit the upgrade packs, it's your last chance uh, to hit the 81 plus double upgrades, they have been good to me so far. I've gotten three foot birthdays in about, to be honest, I've only opened like 80 packs, which is pretty cracked pack luck. But I was able to pack Rashford, which is freaking amazing. This card is insane. Um, so that's fun to use. But this is, you know, another chance to open up some of those upgrades for this next team that is coming out as well. So I would expect an SBC today. I would expect an objective today. And I would expect a lot of market movements with the lightning rounds. Um, that's another thing we can talk about. Our usual Friday lightning round trading methods with the basic icon filter. This is a, a filter that I love to use every Friday. Basic icon filter. Uh, I like to do it somewhere around like this range right here. This range like 800k to 2 mil. Get you to the 59th minute really, really fast. And you can see cards that are just being packed get listed up on the market. And you can kind of see some undercuts, right? You might be able to find somebody who just packed an icon from a lightning round, doesn't really know how much it's worth. And then boom, all of a sudden they're listing it for like two, 300,000 coins under price. The biggest thing here, if you want to do this method is you have to know prices. That is crucial. If you're going to be trading on the icon 59th, that, you, that you're going to know, you're going to know prices of these cards so that you can buy them and be able to know to factor in the tax side of things so that you know you're not losing coins after tax. That's a very, very important thing with icons that you need to know 
as well. But that's a very great trading filter that you can be on. Trading with icons in general, again, as I mentioned, with the panic selling heading into the promo and then stuff going up afterwards. Um, watch out for a lot of that. And then the last thing I want to talk about is high rated SBC fodder. We don't have as many. I want to talk about the team too. It's going to be in PAX 2 and what could happen with those today. The fodder is up a little bit after the Berg, Bergwin SBC today, the Steven Bergwin SBC, because uh, I think a decent amount of people are doing it. And people just have money from weekend league rewards. They have coins. They're going out and they're these are up a little bit today, basically is all I'm saying. So if you have SBC fodder still in your club that you want to take the coins on, take the coins before lightning rounds because they're going to get infused with supply today. Um, with the lightning rounds being opened up. I expect EA to put out pretty high amounts of lightning rounds. Last week, they had pretty high numbers. I expect again this week. They know they have a lot of people on the game and they have an opportunity to make some money. Um, so you could trade with these guys during lightning rounds. Absolutely. Last week, this Allison card was like 55K heading into lightning rounds. He went all the way down to like 46, 47. And then within three hours after lightning rounds, he was back up to like 50 plus thousand coins. So maybe look at a guy like Busquets, who's a little bit more necessary for some of the SBCs because of chemistry's sake. Watch some of these fodder during lightning rounds, because if we get a good SBC, there could be the potential for these cars to get supplied and their prices to drop, and then them rebounding later into the night with less lightning rounds coming out and less supply happening. So just kind of watch out for those, but take the coins. If you have some fodder that you've been trading with, I would take the coins before 6 p.m. UK, today now last thing let's talk about these new well, birthday cards what's going to happen last week right we we called it last week we nailed it on the head last week with what was going to happen with these cards because it was almost it was almost too obvious right it was almost too obvious what was going to happen um with these cards yo where's uh where's bale at i thought bale was 600k there he is he's uh 705 so this bale card right Let's say we get a new bail for birthday, just speculatively, right? Whatever foot birthday card it is, what kind of price movements will they have this week? Instead of them being cheapest right away, instead of some of these cards being the cheapest right away within the first lining round, there's still a possibility for that, but I don't see that happening um, or as obviously happening as it was last week because I don't think there's as many saved up packs and maybe not as much hype, right? We've already had one set. Are they going to bring the hype with set two? It kind of depends on what comes out. Um, if you see panic selling on these foot birthday cards or for the new set, if there's going to be a lot of packs opened, but this could be a scenario depending on the pack weight where you see the team two of foot birthday cards actually become their cheapest overnight from Friday night into Saturday with a possible rebound. The only thing that is keeping me away from that thinking and the reason why I don't like that thinking is there's a lot of people on this game with coins, and if they juice team one like they juiced team two, put good players in it, do um, good position changes for some of the players, then you're going to have people that just want to buy these cards. So there's going to be a couple things to look at. If you want to try a foot birthday card right away today, what you're going to either do is take a little bit of a gamble and buy at about, what, it would be about um, 7.15 UK time. So like during the 100K lighting rounds, that's when I would look to buy these cards. So we go 50K lighting round, 100K lighting round. If there's a new foot birthday that you want to try, and if there's not too many server issues, because there's probably going to be server crashes again, and that could affect lighting rounds and affect supply. If the packs are being opened like they were last week, there were server issues last week and packs were still open. So I guess I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about that too much. But if you see the prices, at that, you know, 7.15 p.m. UK time during the 100K lighting rounds, the first 15, 20 minutes of those, watch the prices there because I think there will be people that buy these cards. They will rise, you know, three, four hours after lighting rounds and they could dip off again. That's what we saw a little bit with some of the cards last week. They rose in the initial buyback because people finish lighting rounds, they finish opening their packs and they, what do they want to do? They want to go run their weekend league games, right? That's what happens. It's probably going to happen again this week as well. They'll get low during the second lighting round. They will pop back up for the next two hours after that. And then they will come back down again into the nighttime a little bit and then possibly go even higher into Saturday. So if you want any of the new for birthday cards, that's what I would say you could look forward to um, some possible movements there. 
I do not want to buy this card. That was a gl I misclicked there. So kind of look look into that stuff for the lightning rounds um, today on foot. And of course, have fun, right? Have freaking fun. If this is a card that you want to try out, go try it out. This is the time of FIFA where we need to have fun. Okay. If you've got packs saved up, good luck for those. There should be a, a there should be the Fridays on FIFA, man. Friday is the best day on this game. New content, um, new cards, SBCs, objectives. They've been dropped. The Fridays in this game have been pretty good for the most part, despite the servers and despite some really bad Fridays. But hopefully this Friday is another good one. SBCs, objectives, a new team in packs. And look out for another loading screen as well, because sometimes they update the loading screen like early in the midday morning on, on uh, Friday. So watch out for another loading screen as well. But foot birthday set two, team two is here. If you're hyped for it, drop a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe down below as well. And drop your comments if, if you think you have any other suggestions for who these cards could be in foot birthday set number two. If you enjoyed the video again, I would greatly appreciate the thumbs up and the subscription. We're almost at 10K, boys. We are nearing closer to 10k subs and that's been a goal of mine for a long time so i appreciate you dudes uh that have supported me so much uh to this point and we're going to continue going in the future again it's been nate the foot account i'll catch you guys later peace out